All right, so um, thank you for coming to see me today. Yeah. Everything that is said in this session is confidential, which means it only stays between the two of us. Mm -hmm. I only have to report it if you talk about harming yourself or others okay. or any potential danger. Gotcha. Do you understand? Yep. Do you have any questions before we get started? No. Okay. So what brings you to see me today? I want to talk about college. Like, college. I don't know how I feel about it. Elaborate. What do you mean you don't know how you feel about it? Like, if I should do it or not. Okay. Like, uh, you know, a lot of, I got a lot of siblings, and some of them didn't make it all the way through college because uh, couldn't afford it and other problems. So I was thinking, like, should I just save myself the trouble and not go and just get a job and do it like that? Okay. But it's like I'm getting a lot of different feedback from family, like, no, you got to go and then do what you feel is best for you. And I'm just, like, stuck. Like, I don't want to let them think that I do need to do what's best for me at the same time. It's like, I need to know, like, what should I do? I don't know. When did this, quote, unquote, pressure... I'm just gonna, just gonna label it that. <laughs> when did that start? Uh, since my first sisters went to college, okay. right? and they had to come back because of issues with money and grades, and just not feeling safe where they was at. It's like, yeah. So where were you? Um, was this like your freshman year, your sophomore year? I was in like seventh grade. So you felt like this for a, a long yeah. time, and now that it's your senior year, I finally had to think about it, like actually put words to action. Okay. Have you talked to your main support system? Like who would be supporting you? So let me backtrack because that's a loaded question. Who would be the person to, or the people to support you firsthand through college? Firsthand. Like financially, um, emotionally? Probably my grandma. Okay. That's the only person. And have you spoke to her about the yeah, way you're feeling? She's she's the one that said I should just do what I feel is best for me, stay here, get a job, until I can, you know, not be in debt if I do this have to go to college. Okay. And where did that take your questioning level from? So let's say a ten is I really don't know what to do. Like I just don't have any idea. And a one is I'm for sure going to do this whatever this is for you where did that put you after speaking to your grandmother i'm still at like a eight okay it's like everybody just feel different ways about what i should do i don't want to let my mama down because she feel like i need to go to college and even though my brothers and sisters didn't make it far they feel like i should still try to get that experience but i don't want to be in debt I don't want to have to be living like that. You know, I'm just, I'm just lost. Okay, so let's do this real quick. Let's create a pros and cons list. I was sitting here when you said it. I was gonna um, give it to you as like a homework assignment, but let's just do it now. Let's. I'm gonna give you about hmm, 30 seconds. Think of the first, or just say the first three pros to going to college. What, what, what would they be for you? Uh, new experiences. I can't really even think of a, of going away just besides getting to know new people, getting being in a new atmosphere. Okay, so just new. Yeah, that's, that's so not necessarily three pros, but just new. Okay, yeah. new experience, being on your own. Let's keep talking because you got two. Let's try to find a third one. Pros of leaving, like everything that I know is here. I feel safe here. Everybody's here. So I can't really think of no real pros of leaving besides being somewhere new, meeting new people. Okay, so then let's move to the cons. First three: uh, homesickness, not being able to actually make it through, uh, pressure. When I heard you say, um, everything you know is here. 
Yeah, so we'll we'll put that just because. So thinking about the pros and cons list, <clears throat> what at this point means more to you as far as school does gaining that experience and developing a new outlook to life mean more or does being comfortable, being at home, sticking to what you know mean more? Thank you. Being comfortable means yeah. more. Okay. That's way that way I know like I'm secure. I just want to throw out there that it's okay to not know. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of people um assume that oh I'm stuck and I'm failing at life right now because I don't know what I want to do with my life. You will never have all the answers to life. No, if someone has all the answers to life, then they're probably like 100 years old already. <laughs> no one at your age in your footsteps knows all the answers to life. I don't even know all the answers to life. It's all about experience. You, it's trial and error with almost everything we do. So I just want to throw a little comfort there with not knowing. Um, I hear you also say a lot going away. So is that what college means to you, going away? Like, have you considered staying home? I know that was two questions, so. Yeah. Well, I have considered, like, going to a college out here. But then at the same time, if I do go to college, I do want the experience. So I would want to go away. You know, go out of state and try to get something new. So if you don't go away to college, are you saying that you're not going to go at all? Yeah, basically. And just stick to getting a job to build up my money so I can at least not be in so much debt if okay. I do decide to go later on. Okay. So as far as um, I've heard you say debt a lot, have you considered outside sources of paying for school? So like the scholarships that they offer? Yeah, I, I've, I've, I've applied for a lot of scholarships. I haven't got back to it yet. Mm -hmm. um, but like if I'm thinking like if a school gives me a lot, then I can probably like consider going. But What's I'm still a lot? just enough to at least get through the first year. Okay. So I don't have to, you know, come back the first semester. So at least I have to finish a year. Enough to do that. At least like So is your biggest fear paying for school? Yeah, well, not me, because I know I'm not going to be the one to actually pay for it. <laughs> I just don't want that burden to be on my parents. Okay. That's one of the main reasons why I just don't want to go. I don't want nobody to have to be like, oh, well, I can't do this because I have to help up pay for the books. And I, just, I don't want to be nobody's burden. Okay. I would just rather just be here and work for myself to get the money. So we have two things. The biggest fear as far as being someone's burden. And just basically paying for it. So if money wasn't an issue, what would be the second reason you wouldn't go to college? Just being away. Like like I said, everything is here. Everybody, I didn't build friendships that I feel like gonna last forever. It's like family that depends on me that's here. I don't, I just feel like going away is a lot. Even if it's a to college in Chicago, just feel like that's still being away and I don't want to be away from everybody. Okay. Have you considered well not have you considered, how do you feel um, you would do if you take a year off? So not necessarily so you graduate and then take a year or two mm -hmm. and then go to school. I feel like that would be better because then I got enough time to try to make my own money so I don't have to, you know, be eating off my mama forever so she can still live her life because I'm the last one. That's all she want to do. Okay. Is to spend her money on herself for once. So I, I was considering it. Actually staying back, taking a year or two off and thinking about it more so I can, like, you know. Yeah. 
So where does that solution put your, remember we talked about the one to 10 earlier, mm -hmm. um, considering the solution of take the time just to figure your life out, figure out if that, if school is what you really want to do, where does that put your rating? It'll probably knock me down to about three to a five. Okay. And what's stopping you from, we're not going to have a decision today. <laughs> I understand yeah. that. But what's stopping you? you from allowing that to be your ultimate decision i really don't even know i think i'm just scared i don't know of what but i'm gonna be my first time on literally on my own i don't know i don't really have a real reason i'm just scared of yeah the world. Sc being scared is a real reason <laughs> that's a reason in itself to be honest that's what stops a lot of people from doing a lot of things that they want to do failing i mean <laughs> Being scared of failing, that's a that's yeah. a real enough reason. So Yeah, that's you know. probably the main reason. I don't I don't wanna get out there and fail. Like even if it's a good college in Chicago, I just don't wanna fail because I feel like I'm gonna really let everybody down. I know I'm this not even about everybody else. I'm gonna let myself down, and that's really what I don't wanna do. How have you made it through school so far? I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Cause I, I I wake up a lot. I just be ready to give up because I feel like real unmotivated. Like they told me senior year was going to be stressful, but now it's like it's really on my shoulders and weighing me down. I don't know how I'm making it through. I just think it's the fact that I'm thinking about everybody else. I don't want to let them down at this point. Because if it was up to me, I probably would have gave up already with the way I've been feeling with school. So thinking about everybody else, I got to do this for them because they got me this far, so I got to finish for them. So at this point, what if we do the pros and cons list as a homework, you know, for our next session? Mm -hmm. Let's say you take the year or two off. Again, do the top three to mm -hmm. taking that year or two off. Do you think you're still going to feel like, mm, I don't want to do this? Or you're going to get even more comfortable with where you are. You know what I mean? Like yeah. think about things like that and create create your list. So if you take that time off, you won't be letting anyone down because you'll get to do what you want to do and you're also not doing away with the idea. Mm -hmm. So if some everybody who's saying, oh no, you have to go to school, you have to go to school, you have to go to school, you're not doing away with it. So you're still pleasing them, quote unquote. Yeah. But you're also remaining happy because you get to do what you want to do, which is to work. Create that security. Mm -hmm. Make that money for the future. Yeah. So that's uh, something I want you to think about. Um, we don't have to, you don't have to put a number on the pros and cons. Whatever amount you can think for each side, okay. just do it. Um, and that is with, the like I said, taking the year or two off or however much time you want to take off. The great thing about school is it's always going to be there. Yeah. You do not have to go to school right away. And... I may be going against what the people in your life are thinking. They may think you have to go right away. But it's certain obstacles that come in our lives where we can't do it right away. I mean, look at me. <laughs> if this had happened two years ago, I wouldn't have been able to go right from grad school into, I mean, undergrad into grad school. I would have had to, you know, raise a child. Now, thankfully, I'm at the end of this to where, okay, I don't have to go into the next program because... I can finish this program, raise my child. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just certain obstacles in life that prevent us and knock our timeline off. Mm -hmm. So, school is always going to be there, like I said. So, you can do away with the pressure of having to go right into it. I also want you to consider, so less of a homework assignment, like writing down, but consider um, not going away. Yeah. Like you said, you, if you don't go away, you're probably going to go to college. But I would like for you to consider they have online classes. They have um, programs where you can just learn a trade or a task or learn how to do something. Mm -hmm. It doesn't necessarily have to be school. Just, just being productive after school is basically the main objective. So you don't have to um, look into it. Just consider it. Maybe we'll do that next Mm -hmm. session together look into those programs and things or if you were to stay home because college isn't 
going away. That doesn't. Yeah. That's not what make it college. <laughs> they have schools here, and the great thing about college is you create your own schedule. You pick those classes. So if you only want to go to class on Mondays, it might slow down your program completion. But if you feel like Monday classes or Friday classes is what works for you to where you can still be comfortable and safe, you can have that decision here. That way, again, like I said, you're pleasing those people who are saying you have to go to school. You're also pleasing yourself. You've acknowledged that it isn't about others. So I want you to keep that. Yeah. It's not. <laughs> it's not about us. It's about what you want to do. Because if you do stuff for other people, you're never going to feel like 100% in the game. It has to be what you want to do at the end of the day. Yeah. So consider that as well. I know I gave you a lot to consider <laughs> yeah. for the next session, but the main thing I want you to do is to actually write out that pros and cons list about if you were to take that time off, what would be the benefit or will that hold you back or will that push you forward, basically. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Is there anything else you had to or you wanted to talk about today for this session? Not today. Okay. Thank you.